Hey guys, Balkan Architect here, and in today's video we're going to be talking about a very important topic. So one thing that I hear all the time by people who don't really use Revit that much, or they just heard about it but never used it, is, well, I would like to use Revit, but you're going to do all of the details in AutoCAD anyways, so why would you use Revit in the first place? And it's really annoying because, you know, you can do everything in Revit, you can do all of the details in Revit, and to prove that, the topic of this week's Advanced Balkan Architect course course is going to be details in Revit. So let me show you what I'm talking about. So all of the building details I'm going to be showing you, all of the tips, tricks and all of the best uses of Revit to solve pretty much all of the detail work you have to do for your architectural projects. So the, the, the that's going to be this week's Advanced Balkan Architect course. It's going to be one hour long like all of my other courses. I've got 27 so far. First a link in the description to my Patreon and there you can get access to all of my my advanced courses as well as all of my project files. So let me show you what I'm talking about. So here I'm going to switch to my computer now and as you can see here on screen uh, let's start off with this first. So as you can see this is a really nice detail and this is actually an AutoCAD detail. So here in AutoCAD I have a nice detail. So maybe you're working in a company and you already have some typical details that you're using and reusing all the time and you already have it in AutoCAD. This is a very uh, usual case. Usually companies go like work like this so they really reuse all of the details. Maybe they tweak them just a little bit and then they reuse them all of the time. So let me show you how is that done in Revit. So if you have a CAD file like this one I will show you inside of this course how to insert it into Revit and if you have, if you have to make any additional changes you can do that inside of Revit. So as you can see this is completely exploded and here I have this is done as a filled region. Uh, these are all lines, this is all text, it can be edited so I can basically type something in. This is in Serbian just because we use Serbian for our uh, in my country but uh, of course it's the same thing in English but as you can see everything is dissolved into elements and you can basically edit everything yourself and you can make changes to this detail. You can maybe make some additional line work and something like that. Also you can take away layers if you don't use them. So that's if you have a basically a detail that's from AutoCAD. But let's say you don't have an AutoCAD detail and you need to do a detail and you found an image online that works. For example in this case I'm going to be showing you this image. So this is the image that I found on the Autodesk official website and let's say you want to use this image to basically uh, to, to model a detail over that. Well uh, in this course as you can see over here, I show you how to insert that image and here it is. Now if I go ahead here and uh, just hide that element, you're going to notice that we remodeled everything else using Revit components. Now as you can see here, I'm using some components that come with Revit, like as you can see this anchor, that's one element, this here piece of wood in section is another element, this thing here, here we have insulation batting line, here we have some uh, nodes, we have a hatch here, and then we also have these break lines to cut everything off and to make it look nice. So I show you everything how to do this from an image to get to your detail. Now this is using drafting views and drafting views really allow you to basically create a detail that's not connected to your model in any way. Now this is for doing details that you're reusing all of the time so you're maybe doing similar projects in your company and you just reuse all of your details. So th uh, these drafting views and uh, you use them like this so that's what I show you here. But let's say you have a new detail. You're working on a new project and it has a new interesting detail. So how do you solve that? And for that I'm going to be using my project uh, over here. This is one that I have a complete course about. I have a five part course that's also on my Patreon. First link in the description. Anyways, so this is the, the project and as you can see it's pretty detailed. But when you look in over here as you can see uh, we don't have that much detail for a detail view. So I show you how to create a callout and how to basically adjust it to make it look perfect. And this is that callout, as you can see here, uh, we kind of shorten it because we don't have to have the full length of the window, we just need to have the bottom and top parts. We have a very detailed window over here, as you can see. We have all of these elements like this uh, wood over here on top. We have the CMU blocks as separate units modeled like this. We of course have an insulation batting line, we have this over here that's kind of closing off 
of the bottom of the insulation layer and on top here we have the uh, beam that's running horizontally on top of the wall holding in place the whole uh, the whole roof and also here we have the anchor that's holding that down to the uh, concrete beam underneath so we have all of that so I show you basically in depth how to create details like this and how to basically set them up so you can print them out and make them look perfect okay so that's the topic of this course it's one hour long also I have 26 more courses that are over one hour long so if you want to check that out first a link in the description to my patreon also there you can find all of these project files the true Revit files the CAD file the image all everything that I use for my uh, YouTube tutorials and advanced Balkan architect courses can be found on my patreon so all of those files over 300 files so far okay so that covers this little quick introduction to this week course and I'll be back with another regular Balkan architect tutorial in a couple of days. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.